गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ स्विचिंग थियर एंड लॉजिक डिजाइन इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द डिस्कशन ऑफ एडर्स एंड सब्ट्रैक्टर्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन हाफ एडर द हाफ एडर एड एड टू बाइनरी बिट्स ऑफ डेटा दैट इज इन हाफ एडर वी कैन एड टू बाइनरी बिट्स ऑफ डेटा नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू द फुल एडर इन दिस फुल एडर वी कैन एड एट अ टाइम Three bits. That is three binary bits of data. We can perform. We can perform the addition operation. So coming to that half adder two table. So coming to the half adder two table. The first combination here, here we have two input bits x and y. We have two input bits. When you are adding zero plus zero, the result is zero and there is no carry. So next coming to the zero one. Zero one zero plus one is equal to one. So we are we are representing the one in a binary number system is one. So the answer is one and coming to there is no carry. Next coming to the one zero one plus zero that is equal to one and carry is equal to zero. So up to here you are adding zero plus zero there is no carry you are getting zero answer is zero and zero plus one you are getting output as one and no carry one in one plus zero also you are getting output as one and Carry is zero. Next, coming to the last one, one plus one. In generally, the decimal number system, one plus one is equal to two. The two equivalent binary number is one zero. Here, in this one zero, zero is the sum and one is the carry. So here, two equivalent value, one zero. Zero is the sum and one is carry. One is carry. So for that reason, under carry we have written one. Under sum we have written zero. So coming to that. The expression for sum and carry. So see that whenever the carry is equal to R, then the input combinations are A is equal to one, B is equal to one. Coming to the sum, here we have the sum output in two cases. In the first case, here x value zero, y value one. That is x bar y. Next coming to that here s value one. Whenever x is equal to one, y is equal to zero. That is x y bar. In these two cases, you got the output for the sum. Coming to that, now this is the Generalized representation. This is the generalized representation block diagram for the half adder. So here it has two inputs x and y, and coming to it has outputs uh, sum and carry. So it may be now x and y, or maybe a and b, or maybe any whatever the information you have given. A not a one you can write, b not b one you can write, whatever it may be. Next coming to that the sum expression. Here the first one x bar y, next x y bar. Then we have written here the sum as expression, and carry is equal to x y. These are the concepts we have discussed in the last class, and coming. To that the logic diagram for uh, x uh, uh, s s is equal to sum uh, sum is equal to x y bar plus x y bar um, x bar y that we have drawn here. Next coming to the carry carry is equal to a b that is nothing but x y. So x into y that is equal to undergate operation we have written there. So coming to here the sum sum is seems to be as a x or function in between inputs x and y. So this is seems to be like as x exclusive y. So for that reason I have written in the Place of these two AND gates and one OR gate, I have drawn an XOR gate, and this is the AND gate output that is carry. So sum and carry. So this is the half adder representation. This this gate, these gates are available in, in this half adder. Otherwise, these gates are available in this half adder. Next, next coming to that. So uh, next we will see the full adder operation. So coming to that full adder operation. Coming to that full adder operation, coming to that full adder operation. In this full adder operation, we are taking the inputs are three bits. Here we are taking three inputs of four, three inputs x, y, z. Here we have taken x, y, z, and this is full adder, and this is full adder in general. We are representing with the F A. Here we are representing F A. This is we are representing with F A. All right. Coming to that, full adder true table. So X Y Z three inputs are there, sum and carry. So I we know that 
two inputs if you have two inputs x and y we have did some operation and that means that here we have three inputs 0 plus 0 plus 0 so all zeros 0 0 0 plus 0 plus 1 only one one is available so sum is 1 and carry is equal to 0 here also 0 1 0 combination so see here 0 1 0 combination so here 0 0 0 0 sum is 0 carry is 0 0 plus 0 plus 1 so sum is 1 carry is equal to 0 0 plus 1 plus 0 sum is 1 and carry is 0 0 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 ones are there 2 ones that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 2 in point number 1 0 so 0 is the sum and carry is the 1 this is the very important case next here also only 1 1 is available for the x y z 1 plus 0 plus 0 that is equal to 1 and 0 sum is 1 and carry is equal to 0 1, 1 plus 0 plus 1 1 0 1 combination 2 ones so 0 1 1 1 0 again you got 2 ones so 0 1 okay so this is the uh, almost all the inputs possible combination coming to the last possible combination that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 in this one 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 in binary we are representing the 3 equivalent number 1 1 so here that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 3 3 equivalent number is 1 1 here this lsb1 is the sum and this msb1 is the carry so for that reason i have written sum is equal to 1 carry is equal to 1 so this is the full ladder <coughs> full ladder true table come to that now we have to write the sum expression s is equal to you have to write the expression and carry is equal to you have to write the expression so in the k maps we have seen uh, how to write the mean terms? How to write the mean terms? So S is equal to sigma small m of from the true table. I am writing the mean terms. So you see here S is equal to whenever you will get the output, write down those input combination. So here we have one, here we have one, okay, and next here we have one, and here we have one. These are the four cases we got the sum value 1. So coming to this one, 0, 0, 1. This is M1. This is M1. This value, this decimal value 1, this decimal value 3, so 2, and this decimal value is 4, and this, this decimal value is 7. That is 1, 2, 4, 7. So you, when you will get the sum output, either in the case of 1, or in the case of 2, or in the case of 4, and in the case of 7. What is this 1, 2, 4, 7? 1, 2, 4, 7 are the min terms where the min term is representing the combination of inputs where m1 is equal to x bar y bar z where m2 is equal to x bar y z bar where 4 is equal to x y bar z bar where 7 is equal to x y z okay so after adding these all min terms you are adding these all min terms so for that reason you are using summation operation so see here s is equal to sigma sigma is a sum of these are not the min terms m1 plus m2 plus m4 plus m7 okay so for that reason we have written sigma small m of 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 7 next coming to that carry function so see here these are the carry functions so these are the carry function this is the carry function and these three are the carry functions so this is the uh, carry function 3 and this is 5 6 7 5 6 7 so we have written sigma small m of 3 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 now you have to simplify the expression uh, by using boolean theorems and postulates or kmf or, or tabular method whatever the method you can want to use you can use and simplify the expression you will get the expression so coming to that i have drawn the kmf for the first sum so see here 1 to 4 7 so 1 so see here i have written here 1 2, 4, 7. Right? Totally 4 combinations. This is 1, 2, 4, 7. Okay? Now, check that. Is there any possibility to make groups? Either pairs or quads. Is there any chance? It's not possible. It's not possible. Actually, check this operation uh, with your min terms. Write down x bar, y bar, z. 
next comment that here you have to write down next x bar y z so when you have written this expression this is seems to be like as an xor gate operation in between x and y and z so x excludes you y excludes you z that is the operation you will get at the end of some expression at the end of some expression so some expression is equal to x excludes you y excludes you z x excludes you y excludes you z so this is the sum of operation next coming to that draw the k map for the carry so when you have drawn the carry so 3 comma 5 comma 6 7 so this is 3 5 6 7 so 3 3 5 6 7 totally you have run four ones now you have to make group so see here i am making the groups now i am making the groups these two ones are these two ones are one group, these two ones are one group, and these two ones are group. Here, what is the condition? A is a one, a min term can cover any number of times, but the condition is every min term, each and every min term which is given in the uh, sigma some small m of this equation, you have to cover at least once in the pair group or quad group, and maybe any other group. So here we have covered almost all, all the ones and here we have written the function xy plus xz plus yz. So coming to this, uh, these two, so the value of here it is x and coming, coming to this, uh, from this, this is y bar z and this is yz. In this z is common. So xz, so one word is xz, one min term is xz, that is one from the pair, from one pair you got xz, another pair you got yz, another pair you got xy. So this is the this is the uh, some, uh, this is the operation. This is the K map simplification. So uh, some expression is equal to x bar y bar z plus x bar y z bar plus x y bar z bar plus x y z. If you want, you can take the proof. So common x bar value. Common take the common of x bar value. When you take the common x bar value, you will get uh, y bar z. So see here this expression. I am going to solve here x bar y bar z. Here we have x bar x bar y bar z plus next x bar y z bar plus next x y bar z bar plus next x y z x y z so now take the common in between the first two terms x bar take common so the remaining values are y bar z plus y z bar okay plus next take the common of x value here we have y bar z bar plus y z okay so the value the function of this one y z bar plus y uh, y bar z that is used to be like as y excludes you z y excludes you z so here x bar of y excludes you z plus here x of so see this one this is seems to be like as x nor gate operation that is reverse of x or gate operation see here y z plus y bar z bar that is seems to be like as x nor operation so the, for that reason y excuse you r z whole bar whole bar so consider he y excuse z so for some time i am considering y excuse you z is equal to some a now here the value is x bar a plus uh, x into a bar. So this is also seems to be like as an eh? x or gate operation. You can write down x excludes you a. When a is equal to x excludes you, oh, here you have to write y excludes you z. So the final answer is x excludes you y excludes you z. So it is very simple thing. I am erasing everything. Finally I am writing. So see here, sum is equal to x excuse you, y excuse you, z for the full adder. Coming to half adder, x excuse you, y. So see here, this is the sum expression for half adder. This is the sum expression for full adder. Okay, sum expression for the full adder is uh, we have three inputs. In between three inputs, we are doing XR operation. If you are taking half adder, you have two inputs. For coming to for the sum expression, in between two inputs, we are doing XR operation. But the carry we have to solve. So that is the carry expression. So you have to remember, and when I am dictating, you have to note down all the notes. Okay, it's very important. 
Right. Next, coming to that. These are the finite expressions. For this finite expression, we have see here. Uh, we here we have mentioned that one. X exclusive Y exclusive Z. So the explanation. What are the explanation we have given now? That is there here. And next coming to that here, we have drawn the diagram. We have drawn the diagram. So here we have four mid terms. For each mid term, we have represented a three input antiquator. So in each mid term, X Y bar Z bar, we have three inputs. X Y bar or Z bar. So three. Inputs. Inputs, three inputs and gate we have drawn here. So for four min terms, four and gate we have drawn, and four min terms we are uh, adding that is summing. So we have taken four min terms that is four input or gate we required here. For adding for this four min term outputs, we need four input or gate. So this is the sum expression. And coming to that simplified carry expression xy plus yz plus uh, x, uh, yz. So this is the simplified diagram for the carry expression xy plus yz. Xz plus yz. So this is the uh, three and gate products. These three and gate products we are adding within a R gate plus. So it's not it's not adding. It's a R gate operation. Here the plus symbol representing logical operation. It's not adding xy plus yz plus uh, xz. So the plus symbol is nothing but as R. That R gate operation here we are using. Okay. Right. So this is the full adder. Some expression and some diagram, logical uh, logical diagram and carry logical diagram. Note it down. Take two minutes uh, pause and note it down. <laughs>